Today, we're gonna to be showing how to replace the rear fender assembly on a City 2022 and City 2023. So for this repair, you're gonna need an adjustable wrench, needle nose pliers, flush cutters, two six millimeter Allen keys, one four millimeter Allen key, a 2.5 millimeter Allen key, and some electrical tape or shrink wrap if you have. All right. So first things first, we recommend that you flip the scooter over so that you have a better time with the deck screws. We'll go ahead and loosen the kickstand and remove it. For now, we could put the kickstand to the side. Now we'll go ahead, lift our deck cover off and remove the screws. Now that the screws are all out, we'll put this to the side and disconnect the charge port. We can now put the deck to the side. Now we'll go ahead and remove the inner deck plates. So now we'll go ahead and remove our deck. Sometimes it could be difficult to get off, so we recommend using a flathead screwdriver if you can't get it off. We'll put the deck plate to the side with all of the screws with it. All right. Now that we've got access to our battery and controller compartment, we're gonna go ahead and get all these wires untucked. We're gonna go ahead right away and disconnect our battery because we're working with electronics and we don't want there to be any electricity running through. So you don't have to remove the shrink wrap from all of the connectors, but definitely remove the shrink wrap from the battery so that you can after remove the battery from the compartment. There are four screws that hold it in, but for the purpose of this video, we have already removed two screws. So now that your battery is out, you can as well put this to the side. Make sure to keep track of these little gaskets as they are very important in keeping your scooter waterproof. So now we're gonna move to the back of the scooter and we're gonna locate where our wire is. Now typically, the wire is gonna be on the left side swing arm of your scooter. We're gonna go ahead and loosen this set screw. Don't have to loosen it all the way, just enough so that the fender wire is free, such as so. Now we'll go ahead with our flush cutters and cut off our zip ties. So an easy way to tell which wire is which for the fender um, is by pulling on your wire and just seeing which one is moving. In this case, it is our black red and yellow connectors that are for our rear LED. We'll disconnect this. And as you can see here, we got a gasket that we need to remove. So we'll go ahead with a needle nose plier and pull it out. We now have our inner deck gasket pulled out and we will now have to remove the outer gasket. We can go ahead with an Allen key and just push the outer gasket out. Now, in order to remove these gaskets, they unfortunately have to be cut. So we're gonna go with our flush cutters and cut the gasket. You can still reuse the gasket after if you're replacing the fender, it, just the fender itself, you don't need to cut the gasket 
for the motor wire. You just need to expose the fender wire. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing with the inner gasket. And now we can just pull our wire straight through the deck and it should come out very easily. And now we're gonna go ahead and remove the fender screws. All right, now that we have our fender screws out, we're gonna go ahead and loosen our motor axle nuts using an adjustable wrench. If you don't have an adjustable wrench, a 21 millimeter wrench will do the trick. If you're finding that your fender isn't just freely coming off, what we recommend doing is removing the entire motor. You'll have to remove the set screw for the drum brake and you'll have to loosen the brakes completely and remove them. We like to go ahead and just leave this on there, just like this, just so that we don't lose anything. Go ahead, pull the line out, and just like that, you could leave it like this. So now, go ahead and completely remove our motor nut washer and lock washer. And then you should be able to just pull up on the motor. So now that you got your motor off of the swing arms, your fender should just fall right down. So now go ahead and leave our motor just like this for now. Make sure not to lose these washers as they're important. We're gonna go ahead and put the fender on the motor axles. Make sure our drum brake is lined up with the screw hole. Make sure our washers are pushed all the way to the end of the axle. just like that it'll come on you got the motor off you got the fender on but now you can't get the, the motor back onto its axles the issue is is that there's not enough room between the swing arms so what you could do here is take a six millimeter allen key two six millimeter allen keys and loosen your swing arms just a bit and spread them out so that you have more space. Now that our swing arms are more separated, we should be able to go ahead and just slip on our motor. And just like that, the motor is back on its swing arms. So, just to make sure that the fender doesn't fall off again, we'll go ahead and reinstall the screws for them. Make sure your drum brake is aligned. Otherwise, you will have to restart. Now, we'll go ahead and feed the wire through the deck again. And now, we've got the wire back in the deck. So we'll go ahead and put the wire back in its gasket. With the wire now back in its gasket, we will go ahead and put it back. Please note that we recommend if you remove these gaskets that you add a little bit of extra hot glue just to really make sure it stays in place. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the outer gasket. All right, so now we'll make sure that our fender wire is 
with the gasket and it's secure there. And we'll go ahead and put it back on. Now this can be a little bit more tricky than the inner gasket because you have a little bit less space to work with. So don't be afraid to grab your Allen key and just push. So now that your gaskets are secured, you'll go ahead and tighten this set screw again. So we'll go ahead, tighten this screw down. This will make sure you don't have too little or too much slack on the wire. So now we'll go ahead and connect our connectors. Remember, black on black, red on red, yellow on yellow. So before we tighten our motor nuts, we're gonna go and tighten up our swing arms as it's important to not forget these. And you're gonna wanna tighten them as much as you can. And now we'll take our lock washers, put them back on. And most importantly, before we do tighten them, we're gonna go ahead and make sure our drum is lined up properly. Once your drum is lined up properly, you can go ahead and now put back your motor nuts. And now we'll go ahead and reinstall our drum brake screw. So we're now gonna go ahead and reinstall our brake line. With our brake line now reinstalled, we can now go back and start focusing on the deck again. We're gonna go ahead and secure the four wires that come out of the rear of the scooter. We are going to be using electrical tape, but you could use really any kind of tape. Securing the wires will give you more space once you put the battery back in, as the deck is very cramped up and it could be difficult to get it in there. We're gonna go again a second time with a second piece of tape and a third piece of tape and hold these wires against the wall of the scooter. This will really make sure that you have enough space. So now we're gonna go ahead, put our battery back in the deck, and as we're putting it back, we're gonna make sure we're not crushing or pinching any of the wires inside of the deck, as we don't want to cause any accidental damage. And now we can go ahead and secure our battery back into our deck. So now we'll go ahead and plug back in our battery. We're gonna place our charge port back in its spot with its gasket. Same with the motor wires and the communication cable. We recommend adding shrink wrap or electrical tape to all of your connectors to help make sure that they're secure and that they don't get loose. And now with all of this secured and back inside of the deck, we can go ahead and start closing everything up and put our inner casing back in. All right, so we'll go ahead and now reinstall the deck. Make sure all of our holes are lined up with the deck might have to move the brake line a little bit out of the way, but that should be fairly easy. Next, we'll use our four mils, four millimeter Allen key to tighten up these screws. All right, so now that we got all of our deck cover screws 
secured, we'll go ahead and reinstall the plastic cover. Before doing that, we'll make sure our charge port is connected and we'll secure it with some electrical tape. We'll make sure that we're not crushing our charge port as we're putting this cover back on. Making sure that we're flushed and aligned, we can start putting in our screws again. We're not gonna tighten any of the screws down all the way as we're gonna wanna make sure the deck is aligned with the body of the scooter. So you got your deck cover back on, but you've noticed, hey, it's not lining up. This is really a simple fix. Um, what we do is we take either a rubber mallet or sunning with a rubber end or with a bunch of electrical tape on it and just give it a little bit of a love tap. And everything will go back right into place. After you've done this, you can now commence tightening the screws all the way. So now we'll go ahead and torque down our screws as much as we can by hand, not over tightening them because we don't want to crack the plastic. All right. And now we'll go ahead and reinstall our kickstand. And that's how you replace the fender assembly on a City 2022-2023.